everybody back to another episode of grim soul survival today we return to boys and girls ladies and gentlemen today we got something absolutely dope to go ahead and take a look at boom what you guys are seeing right here right now was actually posted earlier today and this is our very first look at the halloween event that grim soul is getting that is right boys and girls grim soul is going to be getting a halloween event and by the looks of it by the time of the month that is i would guess that this event is going to be the very next update that we get and you guys are actually getting a little bit of a sneak peek at it over here in the back counter it appears that it is also going to be one of this uh the grim soul team has actually been teasing this revamp of the bases the neighboring bases and it appears they've been revamped to allow for trick-or-treating but first things first you guys can see that the graveyard an event over in the game has actually been themed with a little bit of a halloween theme with some very cool items within that we'll go ahead and break down but if you go ahead and get to knock and these bases will now appear you'll be able to knock on the doors of your neighbors and you can get a trick or a treat a trick will involve skeletons bum rushing you whereas a treat will involve you and the door being opened and then over in that doorway it should be able to lead to some sort of a dope chest so this is serious it's not looking like just a red dude this is dope man this is the first time i believe we've actually had an event that like isn't from last day on earth you know like a grim soul event like a westland survival event so it's very cool to be seeing but again you guys are seeing right here that trick-or-treat function where the enemies will run at you if it is a trick but then you can actually go back and you might be able to get the treat and there are some very good things within those chests in addition to the ability to grow pumpkins and go ahead and use them to some extent because if you go ahead and toss them in the fire it isn't revealed what they do once they're tossed in the fire but do something they will and then boom what you guys are seeing right here was actually uh when the initial when the first coffin was broken into during that video this is a look at the contents of that so it appears that we're going to be getting a couple of additional things over what we usually get so number one some sort of a rare item i don't know if it's going to be a reskin of a current item or maybe if it's just a, if it's going to be something completely new i could definitely see it being something completely new because what it appears that it is is a skull of a very spiky skull on a stick kind of like a skull mace in addition to that during the video you guys are actually seeing that little uh orange legendary weapon over on the left which is a blue flaming sword a little bit different from the red flaming sword we are used to seeing so maybe there will be a new flaming sword or what is more likely in this case i would say is that they will simply be doing a just kind of like a different color maybe for halloween or something like that and then you guys can actually see the bow and arrow which i i don't know if that that looks like a I, it looks a little bit different like it might be made of bones like a bone bow and arrow but that might just be me seeing things but that is definitely what it does appear to be to me in addition to some tricks and some treats and uh, i believe over in that lower left hand corner of our inventory screen we're actually seeing what the pumpkin will be able to get cooked up into because that would make a sense hopefully the pumpkin maybe it'll be functioning kind of like the turkey does over in the last day on earth where it does give us a huge a ton of healing and whatnot because it is a pumpkin dude P pumpkin Pumpkins are pretty big. It's all I'm saying. And sorry if my voice is a little bit poopy. Still recovering from that uh, Lakers Rockets game from this past weekend and that dope PUBG Mobile event that we were at. But on the bright side, as y'all might be hearing, we are back at home. We are back at the setup, and we are gonna be back to those two to three daily videos coming your way, along with the whole ton of tears brought to you by school. Can't wait to go and do all that homework I missed. But yeah, so that is some things we are seeing in addition to those candied apples that appears you're going to be able to get pumpkin seeds from this in addition to getting that skull mace from one of these coffins. So the graveyard is looking like it's going to have a lot of Halloween loot and not just be a Halloween reskin. You'll be able to get that bow and arrow that I was talking about. Would appear, I don't know. I like You got those candied apples over to the right of uh, those like 10 other things, which look like kind of like maybe cookies, kind of some kind of treats. I don't know what it is, but there's going to be a whole ton of seasonal Halloween. Halloween stuff going on which is very cool to see boom what you guys are seeing right here was the contents of the treat so when we visit our neighbor and this is something that the team has been teasing it is going to be revamped where the AI is actually going to function in such a way that those AI bases neighboring your base will no longer be like where you can break into them at least for now maybe they'll come back to that after the Halloween event but at least during the Halloween event you will be able to knock on the doors and while that is going on if you get that trick skeletons and maybe other creatures 
will be sent your way and you will need to fend them off. Or if you get a treat, you'll be able to get into a chest such as this. And the, by the way, it looks, I think if you get like a trick, you can go back and knock again. And I don't know if like you have to get a trick before you can get a treat or if it's all going to be based purely off a chance. But that does appear to be the way that that is going to be functioning. And then the consensus of the tricking and the treating appear to be pretty good as well. They're having a variety of Halloween items in that. I'm guessing that's going to be like cooked pumpkin, pumpkin seeds, candied apples, cookies, the bow and arrow. But the dopeness of this part is the fact that there is a legendary weapon available. I don't know if that means every single chest is going to have a legendary weapon, but it does appear you will be able to get legendary weapons from this event, which is going to be absolutely insane. We're going to be knocking over everybody's freaking doorways. And hopefully what we'll be able to do is maybe like each base will have kind of like a respawn timer, kind of like how in Halloween, like, come on, you're telling me you only visit that one, that, the one house that gets you them big candy bars once, mm -mm, even though we visited that place multiple times. So maybe in a Halloween-esque fashion every once in a while, there'll be a cool down on these bases and we'll be able to go trick-or-treating multiple times. But nonetheless, very cool to see such a thing get incorporated. And then boom, it's kind of hard to see. But if you pause at the just right time, you can see what a normal pumpkin will be giving you. It appears that a normal pumpkin freshly grown from some seeds will be giving you 20 healing over time, 10 drink and 20 food but it is most likely that the cooked version is where the juiciness and the goodness will truly get to kicking in. But nonetheless, this actually look like a very big update that we are going to be getting our hands on that I cannot wait to go ahead and dive into, which, yeah, boys and girls. But in the meantime, we got some other stuff we got to go ahead and get to diving into. Mainly, we got to go ahead and uh, find ourselves a, a poor little lad to go ahead and torture over in the red zone. And hey, a broken card event. I could definitely make a pit stop to that, but then we'll be heading on over to uh, this zone so we could hopefully find one of those hermits, torture him as uh, casual as that sounds, and then head on over here and maybe clear out like the first floor or so of that. But dude, this Halloween event is looking super dope and shouts out to the Grim Soul team for what appears to be not just like, I, I don't know, man, they're totally revamping how the bases are going to be working for this, which is going to be very cool to see. And hopefully we're going to be getting some very good rewards from that. The graveyard is getting a revamp and maybe, maybe other things will be getting a revamp on top of it too you know that's only what they've teased so far but could there be more could there maybe be some sort of an enemy that we have to worry about over at the graveyard maybe some sort of a halloween boss that could potentially be up for battle up for grabs whatever it might be you know we're gonna be all over that bad boy so make sure that you guys are staying tuned by being subscribed with that notification bell to stay up to date with the grim soul survival series as we continue giving all the latest and greatest of information about it as it is coming out not to mention dying into those new gameplays showing off the new updates as soon as they come currently we're in the middle of actually trying to get uh what should we call the altar yeah right there that bad boy we're trying to finish that bad boy which is why we are trying to go ahead and make a pit stop to the uh <clears throat> the thingy mabob the dungeon that's what it's called. We're trying to make a pit stop over to the dungeon to hopefully knock out a good little progress on that and get a couple of necessities. But uh, we will continue working our way towards that. We're working our way towards the grindstone currently as well. So we do have some good things to look forward to, not to mention that update as soon as it comes out and we show off everything and anything that it has to offer, which will hopefully be a pretty sizable chunk and plenty of the tricking and plenty of the treating. And hopefully, I'm, I'm just saying, plenty of the legendary weapon in as well. I could definitely get me behind some of them bad boys and i could also get behind some of those hermits if we could find some because currently we're we ain't finding no guy that ah we're finding a dire wolf who's rather angry but nine nine hermits what's up metal how are you doing you're doing very dead lad but hey thanks for trying and thanks for delivering your clothes to me because that's all that you really did i'm not too interested ah, ow 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 get out of here you damned Jeez, and yeah, sorry if my uh, Yelp sounded extra raspy and whatnot, but like I'm saying, man, my voice has taken a toll to say the least. All right, though, let's see if we can't maybe finesse our way around here. This just appears to be a leper. That appears to be a giant mass of enemies over there. Uh, why don't we go ahead and do this the way that it was meant to be? Let's go and take you out. This guy's going to be coming after us. And then, like I said, we will be going after the, uh, what you want to call the hermit. We're going after that in the level three zone. For now, we're just trying to get this loot. I was just trying to clear out the edges, play it safe. And hey, this incense is actually something that we do require. So good to know that it can be acquired. Hello, witch. How do you do? Good to know that it's, oh my God, we got a lot of enemies over there. Oh, this broken cart, though. But uh, what should I call it? Yeah. Good to know that it can be acquired. What's up, Leper? I'll take you out. Good to know. Let's finish this goddamn sentence here. 
Good to know. Get out of here, dear. I'm trying to kill this dire wolf. Hello, horsey. I wish I needed to tame you. I already got me a horse, though. Ain't no need to worry about that. What's up, dire wolf? See you later, alligator. And that horse got a little bit spooked. I can't blame him. But we'll go ahead and get what we can out of this event. And oh, man, dude, that witch is going to notice us. I do not want that. Oh, my God. This is just a bad area to be in, dude. A lot of... Oh, my God. A lot of enemies are coming after us. Do we even want to stay and fight these things? I suppose so. Ah, we got to take these guys out, like, one by one. Because, oh, mama, there's just so many of them. At least there's no, like, damn knights coming after us. It appears to be a lot of just, like, weaker enemies. Because, Jesus, we got an angry mob of dudes trying to take us down. And that is never a recipe for the success of me. Oh, definitely not. Let's use up some of those bandages. And, okay. Things are getting a little bit more chill, but uh, we just took out probably most of the things by that car. But yeah, let's get the uh, rewards that we can get from this broken cart. And Zen, let's go ahead and make our way Dune to the level 3 zone. Get a Hermit and make our way to that gate. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of that Halloween event in that comment section down below. I, I, I want to hear what you guys got to say because I think that there might be more to it than what we're seeing as well. So if you guys do think that as well, I'd love to hear what you guys think about it. God dang it, get out of here, Dire Wolf! Oh my God, they always just come and attack me. Do not attack me. Just let me do my thing, God dang it. God dang it, Bobby. Oh, we got a damn night. What's up? What's up? How you doing? How you doing, damn night? Okay, we got... We got this that we got to deal with. Why don't I go ahead and bring the soup out? Always need some soup for some proper battles. Let's go ahead, start to eating and start to killing. Damn night, I am sick of your shenanigans and boop. See you later, alligator. Thank you for that salt of pitar and also the bronze nails, both of which come in probably pretty in handy. Let's go ahead and take down this witch, though. Oi, she, she must go, lads and lassies. And that's exactly the game plan that we are going to be engaging within. Come on, baby. Come on, come on. Just please don't turn around or nothing like that, witch. I'm going to put you out of your misery. No need. No, 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 no. Don't yell. God dang it. And yell. She did. How? Why? Why? Why did she turn around? I was quite obviously sneaking up behind her. But the game's like, no, no, no. Not sneaky enough. You did not crouch deep enough. And it's like, oh, I'm, so I'm sorry, game. I'm sorry I haven't been uh, doing my squats enough to really get deep down in there. But I suppose that is that is the will of the game. And so be it. Now we got to deal with all these things, man. We're about to get into that broken cart. Easy peasy. And the easy is not as peasy as it was before. And we had to use some of the durability on our melee weapon which is a little bit poopy but let's go let's reap these rewards let's get the hell out of here and let's go and try to start making our way through the uh, other area we do have as y'all can see some forsaken dungeon keys we can utilize we don't need to go and murder the gatekeeper although hello 14 copper ingots i could get behind that why don't we go ahead ow dude what the oh my god i gotta throw up too god that, 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 this damned guy they really know when to attack he attacks right as we are suffering. Oh, always the worst timing with this game, man. It's like the game knows when to send things at you. No better explanation. All right, we want to collect some of these things, though. And eh, I don't know. I guess we can leave this behind. And we'll pick up that thing. Yeah, this thing has way more reach. Might as well pick up the fork. I like things that have reach because then you can stay out of range of other things, which is a very handy skill to have. Shouts out to the halberd, dude. That thing is the god of reach. At least to my knowledge, but the hokey. You know what I can do too? No, not with you. I don't want to do anything with your dead body. Get out of here. I want to go ahead and pick up those five wire. And with that, let's make our way to that level three zone. We can. Oh my god, they're already sending some dude after us. Just a leper. I, I'm sick of killing you lepers. I'm sorry. All right, I'm going to go and do my own thing. But dude, that Halloween event is seriously going to be dope. And ooh, wandering merchants. I suppose I can make a pit stop. See if they might want anything. It's right on the way to the level three zone after all. So it buffs out pretty nice you know what i mean kind of kind of just so happens to work out but that's gonna be that dude I, i'm thinking this week man i feel like that halloween update might be coming out this week because it's already what it's already like past october 20th dude like there's only so much time until october comes it's like at some point like the update itself has to come out you know and ooh la la that is a trade well i'd have to mm. see i was gonna say i could just eat all this honey that it's like do i actually want to eat 15 barrels of honey for 20 copper or I don't think so, unfortunately. That's a decent trade you got there. If I got blocks and... Ooh. 
If I had extra chains, that is a very good trade. Any trade for a halberd is a good trade, but alas, my merchant friends, that is a nine from me for today. Uh, we could go ahead. Let's run on over there. Let's set it to the max. Let's get to running. You might be like, Star, why haven't you brought the horse? I, I haven't been able to feed the horse yet, guys. He, he happens to somehow he found his way to negative 23 food. I, I don't know, man. I don't think that should be possible. Just a little hunch of mine, but I... Who knows? Who knows how in tarnation he managed to do that? Okie dokie. Let's go ahead and see where we can go from here on out. We just got to find ourselves that little hermit. Oh, hermit, hermit, hermit. Where are you? I'm seeing plenty of bears and wolves and whatnot. And dire wolves on top of it. But no hermit. But for real, let me know what y'all think of that Halloween in that comment section down below because uh, there's going to be a lot of trick-or-treating happening. Hopefully a lot of rewards getting that way. Hopefully the cemetery, man. Hopefully they make that event easier to spawn in. That is a very annoying event to get to spawn in because it has to spawn in during a certain time of day and which is kind of like, come on, come on game. Like it's already hard enough to get an event to spawn in Grimstone in the first place. Now you got to do it at a certain time of day. So hopefully if all, maybe for Halloween, I could see this and hopefully Grimstone does. If y'all are watching this, maybe take some inspiration. Um, how's about to celebrate Halloween? Uh, how about we can visit the cemetery whenever? Yeah? Yeah, 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 I like that. Why don't we make it the- Oh my god, get out of here, direwolf! I am avoiding you people! Why are you still being sent to sick after me? God dang it, Bobby. Oh my god, that's another one. Okay, hello, big boy. How do you do? What is that? That's a damned- All right, that's a damned, then I gotta fight now. God to the dang it. But it's all good. He's getting taken down. I'm gonna switch over to the sword. I'm not using- I'm not using our really good weapons until we do get over to that next area. What is this over here? This is a leper. Is this maybe- is that the hermit over there? Maybe? No, just another leper. See ya. Wouldn't want to be a big boy. Come on, don't tell me the hermit's gonna be like on the interior. Oh, hello, dire wolf. Ah, at this point, I'm just gonna fight this dire wolf, man. I'm sick and tired of running. I want to get- It's a killing! Okay, not another one. I just wanted to fight one! Jesus, these dire wolves, man. They- they- uh, They look after each other. Like, that's good for them. Not good for me. What do we got over here? Is this, uh, maybe this is him? No, this is just Leper. Hello, Leper. Okay, the dire wolf didn't get us. I was worried he might hit us, because when we get hit, we uncrouch. I thought I was worried he might unhit us a little bit too close for comfort. Still have not found that hermit, however. I have found a dead wolf. I, I wonder how that got there. Um, we got, oh man, another dire wolf over there. Let's try to avoid that bad boy. And I think we've pretty much done a whole lap around this zone, so... Yeah, unless that over there is it, but it appears that our luck with finding this hermit is not going in our favor. That is for sure, but I'll go ahead and continue looking around. Nothing attracts enemies like an arrow in the back. Yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd, I'd be attracted to an arrow in the back. Like someone shot an arrow in my back, I'd be like, hey, hey yo, bro, why? And you know, then I'd like go and have a very civil conversation with them discussing why he would shoot an arrow in my back. You know, I, I like to be level-headed. <laughs> All right, let's try and take out these dudes, I guess. Let's, yeah, YOLO. There's probably going to be, I thought that guy was going to run after us. I suppose not. Just another dire wolf. Dude, this is dire wolf central. Like, I feel like there are more dire wolves than other enemies. And I also feel like, what illness has struck these people, dude? I don't know. I, I ain't no scientist, especially in whatever date and time this takes place. It's probably taking place in like, I don't know. It's kind of like a fantasy setting, but maybe like the 1600s. Actually, that, that's giving it a lot of credit. You know, the best kind of gun we have is a crossbow. This is some medieval era stuff, man. This is when the Black Plague was a thing, and yeah. We do, we've done a full lap. We need to make our way inwards to attempt and find where this god dang thing might be. Oh, they, they spawn in every one, right? They should be, there should be a hermit in every single zone, at least from what I've seen so far. So, game, if you could give me a little bit of mercy here. That's a dire wolf up there. Oh, mama. Oh, mama. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, mama. Oh, they're all just going after me now. That's all good. I don't mind chopping you down. I do mind that my armor is getting a couple kinks here or there, but on the brightest of sides, hello, Mr. Hermit. How do you do on this very fine day? We're going to take him back home, and he's just going to make clearing out the dungeon a heck of a lot easier, which is always a good thing to have in your pocket. So we're going to be capitalizing on that. Come on over here, big man on campus. I got a little scroll for you that we got to go ahead and make sure it's a use to make you uh, my very best friend, Mr. Forsaken Hermit. Look at this scroll. Isn't it beautiful? 
so beautiful. He became my best friend from the beauty. Now, please, I have a very nice chair for you back at home. I think you are going to love it. Okay, Mr. Hermit. So let's just kind of neander our way back and have a very civil conversation in the comfort of your uh, newly found chair. And we have arrived and there's already a wolf chasing after us. God dang it. Well, fine. If you want to die that badly, that's listen. I, I don't get I don't I don't I don't understand these these beasts. These creatures, they come chasing after me like they're going to kill me. And it's like, no, no, no. The only thing you get for chasing after me is a quicker death. I'm happy to deliver it, but Papa Star ain't got no mercy. But, uh, hello, uh, Greg. I'll, I will call you Greg. Greg, buddy old pal of mine, let's have a conversation, shall we? I think he's really enjoying this conversation so far. Oh, yeah, it sounds like he's having a very fun time. Oh, yeah, this is the best conversation of 2018. And what do you know? He has given us the information that we need. So shout out to you, Greg. You're the real MVP. And alrighty then, we got ourselves a noble little get up here in terms of what we are bringing to the table over at the Forsaken Dungeon. Let's head on over and let's try and find ourselves some juice delicious things specifically for the altar, which we should be able to find through the first floor. So hello, Forsaken Dungeon. We should have just enough energy to make our way over and that energy will be utilized exactly making our way over although once that new update hits oh our main main source that our energy is going to be going to that bad boys is going to be going it's towards the halloween events towards the cemetery towards the neighbors such as lucian makoai and i think there's a third guy tupac all three of those dudes. Oh, and Schwafelschmuff. I forgot that we have four neighbors in Grimsel. Usually we have three in most of the other games. All four of those, from what they have been saying in uh, lead-ups and information they've been releasing up to this, will be replaced. And they will no longer function. Well, they're, they're going to be there. But they're not going to work the way they do now. They're going to work the way that we did saw in today's video. Hopefully leading us to some very, very good loot. Some legendary loot. Some pumpkin, not pumpkin themed, Halloween themed loot. On top of hopefully some collection collectible stuff we can bring back is gonna be a great time trust me when i say that and let's go ahead and start chipping away these dudes shouldn't be too hard they go down pretty easy to the pz and with the arrow pointing us towards the proper direction hello i'm not trying to uh, let's take a whoop oh my they survive this what what okay i guess i figured out what we got to use our uh, uh our halberd on because i'm not trying to let these uh plague spawn actually poison me because surviving their poison is a very annoying thing so i suppose i know where that bad boy is coming out for that's gonna be the plague murderer we should also make sure that we are looting these guys since they do have a chance i don't know if these basic ones do but there are enemies that do have a chance god dang it why are you running after me already this was so quick what have i done what have i done come on i was like literally like right here and i started crouching these guys are ruthless, man. They're oh my god, dude, these possessed. The talk out there. Those guys are possessed by freaking Hussein Bolt, dude, because those speeds next level. I'm gonna try and sneak past those two dudes. I'm, I'm gonna listen. I'll kill them if I gotta kill them. Otherwise, I'll let them live, continue living their life here in the dungeon. And god dang it, we got plenty of more dudes to get. It's a murdering. Oh, we got oh mama, we got a lot. We already got our very first uh, that guy. We gotta try and fight. Hold on, let's try to sneak that. Oh my god, how did he lock onto me? I walked around that corner just fine the first time. Now he's like, oh, the star has a bajillion people chasing after him. Let's make it a bajillion in one. Dude, this is forsaken. Is it just me or are these guys ridiculously fast? They are ridiculously fast, aren't they? All right. Boop. See you later, alligator. And hopefully I can take you out. Nice. This is how they die in that clean one swipe. Oh, and maybe that's why this isn't one hitting them. I, I thought this was the Claymore for a sec. The Claymore has a solid reputation of taking those dudes out. But yeah, the first floor definitely, like, it's not as long as it used to be back in the day. We should be able to clear this bad boy out and get to that chest at the end. Hopefully we have the weaponry to survive all the trials and tribulations along the way. And hopefully these rooms are oriented in a way that actually helps us out a little bit. Ooh, a book. Let me read that. And hey, we're working on the journal of Jihad Eisenhorn. Anyways, what was that saying? Uh, why don't we go, uh, uh, we'll keep on using the falchion for a little bit here. But I was saying, if they... We need these rooms to be oriented like this, where we can actually like, sneak up on people, you know, and they don't just like notice us right away, because then we can actually capitalize on that marvelous thing known as sneak attack damage. And it is very, very marvelous. Do not get that ever mistaken. On to the next room we go. A lot of lock picking to go as well. I have not had to pick this many locks in a minute. God dang it, we already got people running after us. 
Is that a Forsaken guy? Okay, no, that, okay. Because the Forsaken dudes can open the doorways. That's why I was a little bit sketched. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and eat up some of the Zupa. Some of the soup. Mmm, marvelous, delicious. And it's just making me hungry at this point. But good, 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 good. Uh, we could try to use... Uh, ah, actually, no, this probably... We'll, we'll just equip the Skimitar, try to take these guys out. Let's do some Plague Spawns, try to open that door. Come on, open the door. There we go. Let them in. We gotta deal with the Possessed. First and foremost, nothing like a two-hitter quitter on him. Let's try and kill the Plague Spawn, easy peasy. And then... Oh my god, that is why we need this skill, and that's another thing, like I'm saying, we're working towards the skills, man, I think we might be doing a skill unboxing in the next episode, actually, but, uh, dude, if we could get one more level of Skimitar, we could actually, like, one-hit that guy, that guy literally, we did 49 damage to one type of enemy, if we could do 50, they'd be dead, that would, that is the biggest thing in the world that we could ask for right now, and oh my god, dude, these enemies, they're just noticing us from afar, god dang it, alright, let's switch on over to this, there's a leper soldier. We should be able to take him out. Like, we can't one hit him with the skimitar. Might as well two hit him with the falchion. No, kill this guy first. Don't start attacking this other dude. Finish what you started. God dang it. Oh, I just can't wait, guys, especially as this week goes on, because hopefully my voice will be recovering and it won't be as much of a struggle. And hopefully I'll be sounding a lot better for your lads and lasses as well. Uh, here's what we are going to do. We're equipping that. Oh, I already know what that noise is. Okay, well, boop. let's go ahead and take him out. Oh, no, no, no. I thought that was the noise of uh, whatchamacall. I thought I was hearing like a, a knight or whatever. God dang it, we're naked. No worries, boys and girls, though. I came prepared, and we did have one of these bad boys from an old unboxing chilling in our inbox. We could go ahead and toss that bad boy back on and continue, continue clearing the way. But yeah, I thought I heard like the primal roars and like the deep sounds of like a knight or whatever, like a forsaken. And uh, we gotta we gotta pick a lot of locks on these doors, man. I'm just used to like walking through some of them. Hello, guten tag to these dudes. Oh man, we got so many enemies to take out. These rooms are just they're packed to the brim, man. It's the only. Oh my god, another one, another one. I was gonna say they are packed to the brim, and that they are. An oh, are we already? Was that our first? Oh, what is that dude? That possessed had no clue what he was doing. He was zigging, he was zagging, he was doing every which way type of uh, G wagon. That's a type of vehicle, right? Okay, now we got a big old dude coming after us. This is where we brought a secret weapon. And hopefully, we saw that you can get the secret weapon from the Halloween event. Hopefully, we'll be able to acquire it. But the Desecrators come into town. Okay, Desecrator, get on over here. I want to hopefully be able to... Whoop the oh, wait, what? Did he hit me through the wall? Hold on, did anyone just see this? Okay, I don't, I don't know what's going on here. This is, this is not going the way it should be. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna try to attack. No, 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 no. I'm just gonna, let's just hope for the best. Let's hope that this buffs out kind of quickly. Can we get that instant kill sometime soon here, game? Please, there we go. Leave his arm in that wall with a 283 damage hit. Ain't nothing more you could ask for from a marvelous weapon like this. Actually, there is, but at that point, it's getting a little bit greedy. I could definitely ask for a first hit 400 damage hit. Because that is where the going gets extra good. But yeah, dude. This, uh, this weapon is so good for taking out those, like, heavy-duty enemies. Definitely my fave. Let's toss the shkimita. And let's get to walking. We still got some dudes. Actually, we got a lot. We got... Oh, we killed a lot of people. Let's go and start collecting these guys' stuff. We might end up, like, ditching some, though. Especially, like, once we get to the chest at the end of the game. Because at that point, it's like, oh. Okay. Okay. There's probably going to be some very good things here. Don't get me wrong. Grass is a very cool thing. But, uh, I, I, I can't kill things with grass, and there might be, like, legendary weapons. Actually, I think the first floor is a chance at rare weapons, man. Dude, hopefully, I can't wait to see that new, whoop, 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 that new freaking, uh, rare weapon or whatever. But coming with, like, the skull or, the, like, spiked skull mace or whatever. That looks like it's gonna be really, really cool on top of, uh, the pump. Dude, I wonder if there's gonna be more melee weapons on top of it, too. That's another thing that we gotta, like, keep our mind upon and... Where is this leading to? Okay, we got a freebie room. I like these rooms. They are definitely chill, and we're getting very close to that next... Oh, mom. What? Oh, no. Where's this room taking us? Did we take a bad turn somewhere? Oh, my. If we took a bad turn somewhere, I'm going to be a salty sailor because there's... Ah, uh, here's the thing. That doorway might, like, wrap around that way because, like, we need to go that direction. That's what I wish, man. I, maybe if, uh, oh, hold on. We got to deal with some of these guys. First things first, let's take out the Leprous Soldier. God dang it, dude, that 49 damage. I keep on forgetting. But uh, as I was saying, if that doesn't wrap around, we might be a little bit screwed. But that's what the game needs, dude. I feel like instead of having the arrow pointing us that way, maybe if it, like, gave us the directions of the actual doors we're supposed to take. Because, I, I mean, it's helpful, but we may have actually taken a bad turn trying to listen to this. 
Right, we'll, we'll see what that doorway does, man. That doorway will be the door that reveals all and lets us know how we got to go about to all this shenanigans and all this jazz. And hey, a level up. I'll go ahead and take that straight into the bank. Let's go ahead and take all that we can amongst here, amongst there, amongst every freaking where. And then let's go ahead and say hello to the leper soldier. I'm not seeing a lot of tough enemies, though, which makes me wonder. Could this, is this the way or is this a little detour? Oh, man. Oh, we played ourselves. Ah. Are you serious, game? That's what sucks, man. You, so you, you, you try following this arrow, and then the game's like, psych. Oh, we are not giving you an easy path there. So we just went through a poop ton of rooms that are obviously not the right way. But this might be the right way then. Maybe, like, it'll go branch off to the left. And if not, this is going to be one mess of a room. Okay, we're doing pretty good here. That's that's good news. Good news. We should be able to head this way pretty problem-free. Oh, this room is filled with many problems, though. Boop! I'm going to go ahead and boop you there. Hope that's cool. Uh, we got to try and catch some heat our way here. We'll just try to... Listen, I'm just taking these guys out easy-peasy. It's the one-hitter quitters. And we could skim it the possessed best way of going a boot that any big old enemies yet or just the easy peasy ones continue to be the easy peasy ones from what i am seeing let's go ahead take out the possessed take out the lep or s and then who's this guy is this a possessed that's a possessed dude that was possessed man no my pantalones and right, that's all good maybe we'll find a fresh pair you know what you know what isn't good dude i haven't found any chests yet how have we not found a single chest yet oh me oh my okie dokie we gotta Get a little bit sneaky deaky here. Oh, oh, I thought I could get a sneak attack off on this guy. Okay, no, no, no. Now we got an armada of possessed coming after us. We got, uh, well, that guy coming after us. I, do you want to get stuck on that trap? Like, if I built a trap and put it down, you get stuck on it. Why, 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 why are you not getting stuck on those traps? Huh? Are your feet trap proof? I, I don't even know. All right. Whatever. So be it. I will engage in combat with you, Mr. Forsaken Lad, and I will take you down like the superior fighters that I am. And, okay, these are just leper soldiers, so boop to you and boop to you. We are pretty much out of band-aids, though, so that ain't good. We do have this, which is pretty solid. That gives us a poop ton of healing, and I think the honey barrels might be our go-to healing maneuver from here. Still got a good amount of shkimitaw left over, good amount of everything else. Let's go and collect those. Did I collect the, uh, did I collect the guy from below? Just trying to make sure. Okay, we did. He died over there. You never know, man. There's just so many dead bodies. Like, I can't exactly remember if I looted each and every one. You know, there's just so many, there's so many people we've murdered. Cut me a little bit of slack. Okay. Ah, the leper soldier noticed us. Boop. See you later, alligator. Uh, we might need to take out, like, one guy over here. Ah, uh, it's just a possessed. Okay, I'm gonna get him to run this way, and then we'll two hit him. And uh, let's hope that this is the door. God dang it. Oh, my God. Why'd you have to notice me? I thought I was well out of your reach. Let's hope that this is the way we got to go. Unless this is another dead end. Nope. A long hallway. Sketchiest hallway of my life, but a long hallway nonetheless. We got this door. Oh, me. Oh, my. Okay. That's a lot of enemies in that room. It's all right. We'll go ahead and get to clearing those out. No worries. Allo, allo. Possessed to you. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, we can take these guys out. Ah, uh, we got the Forsaken coming after us. Let's start eating up on uh, that honey to make sure that we survive this battle because we're definitely going to need that to keep us alive. And nothing like the power of honey to keep you going, man. Those bees, shouts out to the bees. They're the only reason we're alive right now. <laughs> All right. That guy, though, eh, that's where the going gets a little bit poopy. But, uh, hey, hello, Desecrator. Hello, comrade. How do you do? Oh, I don't want to be attacking you. God dang it. All right. Uh, nah, I, I wasn't ready for this. I thought just he would notice us. Oh, man. Okay, I'm, a, I'm just going to kill you really quickly. That's not even an insta-kill scenario. Let's go ahead. Eat up on some of the honey and hopefully kill you. Let's freaking go as quickly as humanly possible. That went pretty well. That was like an almost full damage hit. That's nice. That's nice. Okay. In terms of the weaponry we got left, I'm going to start poking people with a pitchfork like the farmer at heart that I am. Allo, allo, possessed. Boop. Enjoy. Oh, this is actually perfect. It does a... Uh... Okay, they're getting a lot of hits off on me, which is not perfect because that just eats away at our armor since armor is hit dependent, not actually damage dependent. And ooh, we have found the end of the dungeon. So uh, let's get prepared. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be breezy, but it's going to be dope because that right there is the chest and the chest is known to have some very good goods. But like this area is known to have a witch. Not 
the funnest of things to deal with. Hello, I see you possessed. I see you. No worries. Let's go ahead and get some slices off on you guys. Can you please? I wish there was a way, like maybe a setting or something. That's another thing that the game might need, honestly. A setting, so like your character, like maybe kind of like, uh, if you guys ever played Bloons Tower Defense, you could set your tower to aim for different things, right? The first enemy, the last enemy, the strongest enemy, you know, for example. Uh, it'd be nice if we could maybe set ours to like target the weakest enemy, you know? So if we are almost done killing a person, we finish killing him. You know, it's kind of just a quick little food for thought right there. I don't know. I don't think that's too much rocket science. I think it makes a decent amount of sense, but maybe I'm just crazy, you know? All right. We took out some of the tougher enemies here. Not seeing any Forsaken yet. Although, oh, what do you know? The Forsaken, just on time. As long as that witch doesn't send the whole freaking army at us at once. That's the important thing about that last area, man. As long as you aren't angering the witch, you should be pretty A-OK. -okay. And A, hey, speaking of A's and OKs, I like what I got out of that. We got ourselves a little bit of, is that the sulfur? We got some sulfur. Very nice. As long as we continue avoiding the witch and maybe, okay, we got a possessed guy on our butt. What up, possessed? How you doing? You doing dead? Same. Actually, JK, I'm not doing too dead. I'm, I'm pretty alive. Pretty alive and well. So, pretty good feel. Uh, forsaken. All right. You, my buddy, you're going down in a similar fashion with the help of honey at my side. I cannot fail, even though, okay, our, he our health was starting to drop us suspiciously fast there. We were maybe in the midst of maybe failing. We got like five enemies to go. Okay, let's try to loop around a wee bit more. Maybe. Is it the witch crying there? Is, is the witch staring at the chest? Or how's that going? I don't know. Okay, let's, let's kind of wrap around a little bit here. This, this could get messy. I'm not going to lie. Okay, okay, okay. We got the possessed guy. What up, possessed guy? Goodbye, possessed guy. Uh, What kind of enemies we got over here? Is that okay? We got a possessed over there. Boop. Oh, man, we angered a lot of people that way. We angered a lot of people. All right, let's take this guy out. And then I think we got to... Oh, man, we got two of those. Oh, no. Ho, ho, ho. I got to take out two of them. Uh, you know, I don't know what to tell you besides bottoms up on this freaking honey, man. We got to be staying nice and alive. And this, these dudes got to be staying nice and dead. Can you please die a little bit faster, Desecrator? Okay, nice. Nice, we took him out pretty easy. Can, can this guy fall before my armor breaks? Let's freaking go. The 300 damage hit, and I think I'm dying of dehydration. I am. Oh, okay, luckily, the soup will hydrate me. Marvelous. And then finally, what up, witch? You're dying? How can I kill you? I'm killing her. You're dying by a pitchfork, all right? You're dying freaking farmer style. What up, witch? Oh, you're gonna yell? What you yelling for? All right, you might make me a little bit deaf, but that ain't enough to stop me from getting to this chest. All right, let's go and eat up all the berries that we can. Listen, I want my bank for my buck. All right, if this witch is dropping berries, I want berries. But most importantly, this chest. I want to see the contents of this chest. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Show me something good game. Maybe some stuff for the altar, please. I'm trying to get more skills, as many as we can. Maybe some books that we can read as well. Let's freaking go. We got some pretty nifty things. We got another night guest sickle. Always a marvelous thing to call our own. Goodbye to the cloth. Hello to the claymore. I'll probably come back. Oh, these empty barrels. If those merchants are still around. I, I might have a trade to finesse, although they might definitely be gone by now. What is this? Uh, Falchion Mastery? Well, welcome to the gang, Falchion. You can go ahead and be one of my active skills, making the Falchion do one more damage, which... I don't know how good that makes it. It does 37 normally, so 38. We could probably build it up pretty well. We got some soul shards. And, dude, I feel like these skulls, a lot of Halloween events were dropping skulls. And then we had that, like, skull mace. I think that might be used maybe in the future to, like, build up, I don't know, maybe build the mace somehow. Maybe that'll be, like, a Halloween event item we could craft. I could see it. Uh, but, anyways, in the meantime, we got some things over here to equip. Our, our boots are about to break, so so be it. I'll just leave those here. I'll come back for those. I'm just trying to prioritize what we can and make sure that we're coming home with the best stuff that we can at first. We got a trap, which is nice that we don't need to craft them because crafting them can definitely get it kind of annoying. Uh, why don't we go... Uh, 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 uh. I was going to say... I'll leave the grass behind. I'll leave the rope behind. And I'm not leaving that behind. Definitely not leaving that behind. And cords are usually pretty good. Mm, we do have the one bandage that's just like awkwardly chilling there. Uh, hourglass is kind of nifty, kind of handy. 
Uh, all right, I'd say for the time being, we'll, we'll put the spoons away for now. We'll go ahead and toss uh, these things because we need those for a couple of things that we are in the midst of building. And we'll go ahead and just kind of fill up our inventory on the rest of this stuff and go ahead and call that so today's dungeon adventure. As much as I'd love to go into that second floor, guys and gals, I do not want this video to be over like an hour long in that second floor. That is uh, probably going to be requiring more resources than what we got on our person at the time being. But back to the top side we go. Let's go ahead and head on over and see if those merchants are still around. Because then I got a trade to finesse. And that is the benefits of eating barrels of honey. So merchants, are you around? No. No, they are not. God dang. Well, all right. With that said, with that done, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Grim Soul Survival. Hope that you guys did enjoy. Can't wait to hear what y'all got to say about that Halloween update in that comment section down below. Can't wait to up anyway with you guys and gals later. Hopefully, I'm guessing that's going to be this week, man, because if it's not this week, that, that event's going to be coming out like October like 27th, 28th. That's pretty late for a Halloween update, you know? So uh, stay tuned for that. Not to mention the last day on Earth Halloween update. We are getting as well many other dope games and the whatnot. And we are back. My voice is recovering and plenty more videos to come. But with that said, with that done, that's going to go ahead and do it for me for now. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Huh, this was an awesome one. I'll talk to you next one. See ya.